Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back. We join looking at the sky because if I fly up a little bit and then look down, it's done. <laughs> this took so long to do, but now all that's left is we have the original tree, we have the platform down there, and we have this platform, which I think we will eventually look at using for um, our reactor and stuff, but... This is everything. Everything that was here is all simplified into these two platforms. It is wonderful. So on this main platform, we have our kind of like big uh, like metals and just like minerals area where pretty much things are just being processed. So I've got like this, producing coal, uh, cooking up metals, breaking down redstone, all sorts of things. And it's working wonderfully. There's some that I probably will continue to upgrade to enriching factories, just because it's a little bit better than pulverizing. Um, but like, for example, uh, uses for redstone, if we pulverize redstone, we get six. If we enrich it, we get 12. So it is just better to do. Um, but they're just things I need to get round to. And more what I was about was at the start, just moving everything across. Now it's all here, we can slowly upgrade it and make things better and stuff. Um, but then we have over here, this is our essence production. This is how small I've got it to be. So we have, uh, if I get this, we've got our basic mechanical essence being produced in here, nice and simply. Um, I've got it stacked with three sets for now, with possible expansion for a fourth set. And we can always chuck in more sequential fabricators, but for now, it's just running full hammer. Um, and I haven't had an issue with it yet. Probably the only thing that we would ever need to update is actually sequential fabricators, putting maybe another one here and outputting to there, for example, if we start to struggle. Because this one is kind of, it could work a little bit faster, obviously. We could have it process faster, um, but otherwise everything else is kind of full whack. And I mean, we're pretty much full on everything, I think, in here. Yeah, it's all back stuffed. So that outputs uh, up and into here, where we've got 32, because I just, I took out the basic thing. I was like, let's just have a bigger backlog, basically. Um, and then of course, because those are needed for the blue, we have that coming into the blue, which is weird. You don't see the line going, look at whiz, Christ. Um, but you come into here and it is receiving the regular uh, mechanical, oh, uh, the basics. Um, and then we've got this, which is our steel production line, which I doubled in the end. I don't know why I doubled, but I did double it. Um, I think I doubled it mostly so that we could have access to steel whenever we needed. Um, but there's a likelihood that maybe at some point I will make one of these in the overworld. Um, and then just on this side, I split these up so that we have the possibility to basically double down again. So do another set of brass rods here, another set of invar gears here, and it all goes into here. Pretty much running max speed. Yeah, 256. Um, and it is just whizzing. Anytime it needs them, just chucks them in. So that's now our blue ones done. So again, we've got 32 stacks of that. And then they are needed in the processing for our um, yellow ones, the improved ones. Um, and the only little bit of progress I made in between cameras is I actually made this in the end. Because we run quite a heavy EMC deficit. So while I was moving everything across, if I didn't take enough time to put lava in here, we would drop down pretty low on EMC. And we're at the point now where I'm pretty sure if we run out of EMC, a lot of things are gonna get really bad. Um, like, we, we're gonna struggle to get back up to where we are. I'll have to just start burning through these, which is not bad, obviously, but our power kind of, oh, I suppose our power doesn't run on EMC anymore. Because we don't use lava, really. That's another thing. Um, we go downstairs now, and this is kind of our mechanical area. So we've got our, um, our latex production over here with all of like the plastic and stuff. Effigies, because um, we need effigies obviously for the net, for the yellow ones. Um, I have this smaller cube 
to just produce stone and soul stones, and it is just chugging. Like this is this is effigies going out. Um, it is just chugging. Um, so it's doing a great job. Um, and I decided to hook that up to our AE network um, just so we can see them at all times, um, which is great. We then have this here, which is I just all I did was I automated um, the use of the some of the um, mechanism stuff, which is stuff we already had. I just automated it to make life a little bit easier because doing all of this move and a lot of upgrades, we needed stuff. Um, then over here in this mess. This is actually our gunpowder production. Um, so we have, of course, the same sulfur production that we did last time, but we have this added section here, which is basically gravel gets crushed into sand. Sand makes sandstone stairs. Sandstone stairs get pulverized into um, sand and nitre. Nitre gets chucked in the AE system, and then it all comes over here, where charcoal, nitre, and sulfur get converted into gunpowder. And it's working quite well. We have a fair bit of gunpowder. Um, if you notice in the corner, our EMC, we are so fast at producing now, we're almost constantly at a positive. Because I'm, I've am i made all of this so robust that we are literally blitzing through. But even with that, the number doesn't climb that fast. Um, we then have this over here, which was just our... Um, motor electric motor fabricator because we've used a lot of those and then this this is actually our effigies area and i've managed to condense it quite a bit um previously it was much wide longer much wider in the old base now it's actually pretty tight um and quite good we've got these being brought in from ae now rather than um being pulled over with like um, laser I.O. and stuff, which means these stay full much easier, and everything's working quite nicely. It's very loud down here. I don't realise that while I'm playing alone. Um, and these are all hooked up to draw controllers. I've got two draw controllers, one here, which connects all of these items, and one here to connect all of these items. I probably could have done it in one, but this looked like a cleaner method of doing it. Then we've just got our, our basic sort of machines that we're using, and then our ender pearl production, and then this is our um, like chip manufacturing for AE, which is nice, and everything's kind of running quite smoothly. Now these are actually our power now. So this one here is our gas burner, it's because it's above the gas, and we can just pop in. And again, I've, I've buffed up the gas burning, so now we've got four gas burning generators which are sometimes one side is running, sometimes the other side is running. It's not the most consistent. Um, we do have a backup of a lot of gas and then basically two sets of the gas burners, like uh, gas productions. So we produce a lot of ethylene so that these just don't ever stop being full. I had one issue at one point where I think we weren't dumping gas properly, so they actually ran out of gas and I was very confused, but it is all working fine now. I think we did this one on camera, just moving all of the um, lava generation in here. This is probably the used, uh, least sorry, the least utilized cube, um, because if you look, we produce so much power from gas that we don't even take in power from um, the lava, nor do we take in power from solar. Um, it is pretty much all gas related, so anything that's coming in here is pretty much immediately going out. But energy doesn't really fluctuate anymore. So that's kind of down here, pretty much set up now. The AE system's been moved. We're using a fair few channels because I've hooked up quite a lot of stuff to be able to see it in the AE network. Uh, let's jump up here. Um, what else is different? Oh, I, I chucked a fluid storage in just for the latex and lava because I, I don't know. It felt useful. I don't know. I saw that it was an option while I was doing some extra little bits. Um, so then over here, this is again our um, Skystone Dust Grinder. Then we've got our washing factory here, which is just washing, of course, soul sand. Why is there... Oh, probably because this is set to 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, so washing soul sand and washing skystone dust as it comes in and just output into here. These are, of course, again, set by a controller, which has reduced our number of channels because uh, last time we were doing a, a storage bus for each one of these. Now, just a controller with a storage bus. Um, and these have some stack upgrades in them so we can store plenty. Uh, then we've got our cinder flower, um, which is probably full, right? Yeah, it is full. Um, we need to do, start doing stuff with this in a bit, but that's fine for now. Our gravel production is something that is dire in terms of need. Um, like, realistically, this is a tier, what, tier 3. What we should probably do is EMC link another tier 3. But what we can do now is actually, because we've got plenty of resources, we can do tier 4s. Um, let's also uses. Let's upgrade you guys. And then uses. Upgrade you. And we're literally making tier fours for the sole purpose of um, being able to import more cobble at a time. Uh, which is quite funny to me at this point. Um, that cobble is the thing that we need plenty of. But what we can do here is we can just set these to cobble. Uh, and that should hopefully help so we can keep grinding continuously. Um, and then andesite production. Just like before, this was all moved pretty much across. As you can tell, I cared about looks here and then slowly started to care less. Um, this is quite a, just a simple little thing, um, which all you need to do is just grab a gold plate um, and you can chuck a gold plate in and it will just whiz around basically until it produces a precision mechanism um, because we needed them. I uh, needed it desperately or else my EMC was going to die. Um, is it done? Oh no, it made a goal, it made scrap. So then you just send it through again. Um, I didn't actually have it programmed to send um, gold plates back through. That's something that I should probably look at doing. Um, gold. Plate. Thermal. Did it fail again? No, it didn't. What am I... What is the plate that I'm using? Oh, it's the thermal one. Yeah. We just need to filter this to say on the down. If you ever do have a gold plate in here, just extract that as well. And then we can test it. There you go. Perfect. Um, and now we've got a precision. Perfect. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at. I kind of... These guys have all spawned in naturally, um, just because we've now got big grass areas, which is quite cool. Oh, there's a horse. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, so we've got all of our storage going on. And then if you look on the underside, it's pretty tidy. Besides this island, which doesn't have an underneath, so I did just need to drag cables across. It's all pretty tidy. Over here is pretty tidy. This is now our, like, preserved island. Um, and then this will be, this is all within ch three chunks, nice and, like, set. Um, and we'll probably maybe do, like, chunk over here, we'll do fissile fuel production, chunk over here, we'll do reactor, chunk over here, we'll do turbine sort of thing. So they're all in their individual chunks. Um, and everything's lit up by feral flare lanterns, which means we don't need torches everywhere, which is lovely. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much what I did off camera. That's quite a lot of recap because moving all of this across was nuts. I think the only other thing I did as a big change was I got um, pulverizers to start producing all of these individual materials, um, this top row, because previously we were always doing this bottom row, but I needed like coal, I needed the lapis, diamonds, redstone, this, etc. So I just thought, let's just get these all grinding so that we don't have to worry about them. And now they're all in a... And we have plenty of stuff available to us, which is wunderbar. Um, what were we missing from this? Uses, wait. Um, uses, we're missing improved mechanical... Oh, it's because we don't actually keep any of those in the system right now. The only mechanical essence that... Uh, improved mechanical essence is here. Um, once we move on to doing the next type, I will probably get this to import into a drawer like these two store 32 stacks of them, import them into the system and do that. But for now, it just felt nice to be able to still see this process because these two we've seen for a long time. This is the latest one. Um, 
and most of it to be fair is downstairs because it's all those charges the only thing that isn't downstairs is these basic circuits which are done here but ooh, are we gonna keep up we've got four and four. Oh, we can actually I didn't realize that what about you have you got enough upgrades four and four. Oh, so if we just get um, you and you I didn't realize this not that it's the biggest concern obviously I, th I think we are keeping up just fine but when you're at this point in the game little things like that it's just luxury at this point more than anything I mean most of these are set to like 256 they probably don't need to run that fast but again we have the power we have the ability why not run them as fast as we can um, because the end game of this mod is going to get a little bit hectic um, oh have we done tier 3? we have done tier 3 done lovely um, yeah so we are here I think there's a couple things I'd like to do before we start deep into that though and it's making induction housing and auto crafting for um, a the induction casing will allow us to store a little bit more power um, and the auto crafting will be good as well so I think possibly what we want to do is we want to do the auto crafting first um, this oh I see so we should be able to make this stuff quite easily I think I don't think we're gonna struggle the most yeah let's do four then let's do we want the crafting coprocessor so we want two of these I think I don't fully understand this and then we realistically want maybe a, a 64k so if we do I think that then we can do uses for you uh, to make four three four K what are we missing uh, recipe wait recipe uh, quartz glass oh uh, now we're missing glass of course but now we don't have to worry as much about sand because I have tons of it <laughs> 34k oh no is that still in this drawer that is still in this drawer I don't want it to fill up the um, the main computer with just sand because that's all this is doing is basically taking in gravel which we don't use that much of and kicking out sand oh but that tells me we're keeping up now which is good we'll have a look at that in a second basically having chucked in those extra EMC things seems to tell me we're actually keeping up on gravel is this true we're net positive on gravel thank the lord we have two of these producing gravel which arguably probably not the fastest but that's fine and then that grinder to try and just keep up on gravel consumption um, but that is fine so we need some glass glass acquired uh, send that away for now um, we do need to start importing everything that we smelt and stuff this is why I want the auto crafting done so we don't have to keep crafting stuff like glass by hand um, let's do that kick that away uh, recipes 4k 4k we're gonna need so many more of these aren't we uh, recipe we need like just a, a ton of these uh, so then uses on the 4k to make 16 K's right yep yeah. eight almost enough to make well three yeah if we can get another th two more 4k's so recipe uh, recipe so we want one two and then wait 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 recipe recipe we want then two of you uh, and then wait then we want <laughs> recipe I can do this one of you perfect so actually if we make two more of you one more of you we can then make three 64 K's right uh, my understanding is the bigger the um, storage component you give it 
the more crafting it can do as like a really complex craft. Oh, oh no, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We want to do this and then we can have three of you and then we go downstairs and we say down here somewhere, here maybe, we say crafter, coprocessor, crafter, coprocessor. Crafter coprocessor, and then we just hook you up. Uh, like so. So now we have three crafting modules. Ooh. Did that. Is that using a lot of lines? Six. Uh. I'm just thinking that that's not running all three of these because um, of channel stuff. We might want to run AE, the big cable. So if we break U for a second and then we come over here and we break U, I should be able to vein mine this without worry of breaking my whole system. Lovely, and then we just take you across. Then we won't have to worry so much about the channeling. Uh, wait. Uh, and then smart cable to here. So this is using six, this is now six, and then this is nine. Yeah, one of them wasn't online. We were definitely overwhelming our network to a certain extent. Um, so that's fine. So now we have the crafting processes online. Now I've never actually done a crafting before. Um, so my understanding is crafting. My understanding is we're going to need a couple things. Uh, first off, we're going to need a pattern terminal. Uh, wait. We're going to need three of these. We're going to need a pattern terminal. And we're going to need a pattern encoding terminal. Crafting table to make a pattern. Okay. Uh, one of you. Then one of you. Then one of you. So my understanding is this basically. So we will need a pattern encoder and then a pattern terminal. So that now allows us to see our pattern terminal and this allows us to encode. Then we're going to need patterns as well, aren't we? Uh, pattern. These things. Um, Oh, but we need to craft them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Um, so we craft 24 for now. And normally a blank pattern is the first thing you want to craft. But we also will need to know how to make quartz glass. Because those are the two things to make each other. But we can't put these in here yet. Because we need molecular, molecular assemblers. Um, so we need more quartz glass. Fine. Oof. We need more Certus dust, which is fine because we've got plenty of Certus. We literally have 18k. So we will take three stacks and we will go down to the grinder. Maybe I need one of these over there as well, but that's fine. Um, yeah, actually, that would be quite useful because everything is here. Um, crushing factory. You can crush all of this for us real quick. Any more glass? Lovely. Some more beautiful stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop cooking it. Stop cooking it. Well, we'll let it cook now. Ugh, like an idiot. It's because I needed it cooked earlier. Now I don't need it cooked as much. Screw it. You take 16 now because of the fact that we ended up being a goof. Being a little bit of a goof. That's fine. Chuck you guys in there for a second. Chuck you guys in there for a second. Why have I got you guys on me? Man, it's loud down here. It's a proper factory. It's the sawmills. Can we can we come here and just, like, uh, muffler? 
Um, this one, set anchor, radius 32, saw. Uh, I want saw. Machine saw, thermal, muffle. Oh, oh my god, that's bliss. That is um, perfect. Let's go back upstairs. Oh my god, that soaring was just driving me insane. It's actually so much more peaceful now. That was the entire problem of my life right there. Solved in an instant. Right, back to what we were doing. Molecular assemblers. So, um, let's just get three for now. Or four, five, with a one of these. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how these work and then I'm going to do this off camera because I know there's something called like a big star or something that's like a big kind of like downwards pyramid where you can get loads of stuff in and that's how you do it but for now this I think is what we want um, and then we can come down here and what I'll do is for the demo is we will put you here and then I think it's, you get these all around it. And these do the crafting for you. And you can put acceleration cards in them. So let's do that. Let's do card. And we want the, uh, what do we want? The advanced card, yeah. So we want, what, like 5 times 5, 25 of these, I think. Um, chuck those in the system, make them acceleration cards, and then we can accelerate this. Is it five? Yeah, five each. It's a little bit pricey to do, obviously, but it does pay off because now we come up here and we say, uh, let's put this away for a second. We can come here and we can see our molecular assembler. So we can say this one produces blank patterns and this one produces the glass you need. Then we can come here, oh wait, no, here, and I can say uh, pattern, and I can be like, ah, give me 10. And it will be like, you have everything available to make 10 of these. Why does it need five Certus Quartz? Surely it needs dust. Wait. I need to check these patterns real quick. I'm a bit confused. Um, so you can check them by putting them in here. Oh yeah, five Certus, because it makes two of them, that's fine. And then, yeah, okay, that's fine. So we put these back in. I was just a little confused. Um, and then we can come here and we can say, patterns, make me ten, next, start. Look at how quick that was done. We can put these in here, and now we can say, uh, recipe for this is crusher with uh, basic certus quartz is probably what we want, that one. And we say it's, it's a processing pattern, so then we can say that. We can take this, and now with one more of these, I can take this downstairs for a second. This is where AE is going to become a little bit nuts with needing more channels. But we can come to the crusher, yeah, this one and break this and put this here and then we can hook you up uh, let's just get at AE what do I want these ones uh, we can then hook you up to here and then if we put this pattern in here and we state that you are now input output on the top we can now say um certus dust has got that little plus there uh, if i take it all out for a second i can then craft 10 of it it'll say it needs 10 certus quartz that's fine it'll come here it'll crush it all and it's com did five Wait, what? Craft 10. 10, 10, 
stop. Did five again. Why is it only doing five? And check the pattern. Wait. What's the pattern say? One to one, isn't it? Why are you being weird then? Um. Oh wait, did it just take a second to give me the other five? Why isn't this one showing me craftable? Oh, it's because we took it out. So put it back in. Wait, let's just have a look at the pattern real quick. Yeah, one to one. Okay, so we put this in here. We then say craft me 10. Start. Is it just stopping at five? What is das? Is it putting 10 in? Whoa, this is weird. I've um I've not seen this before. But what I was going to say is we can also then have a pattern for um recipe Recipe, uh, sand to glass. Where's sand? Just basic sand, Christ. Any sand. I'm a little confused by that. Um, it doesn't really make sense why it's only doing... Inle oh, unless it's outputting to there. Possibly. Wait. So if I put this here... Um, and then it's already online because it's connected to that one. We put this pattern in. I should now be able to request glass. Uh, so let's do 10. Definitely only requested 5 there, didn't it? Why is it only requesting half of the amount that I ask of it? Ten. It's telling it ten. Uh, input output auto eject on. If I turn auto eject off, is that causing an issue? Um, ten. No, it's it's definitely crafting five. <laughs> Is there something wrong? <laughs> Where's my glass going? Well, my sand, to be more precise, I guess. Um, this was supposed to be quite a smooth demo, if I'm honest. It was supposed to be how I can auto-craft patterns, but now it's... Why is this not working? Um, let's just have a quick look. Um, if I told it to sand, oh no, don't want that. Uh, two sand is one glass. I shouldn't have to do that, but now will that work? Um, basic smelting factory glass. Take this out, craft me 10, start. Did we turn off auto eject? I think we did, but that's fine. If there's 15 glass in here, auto eject on, craft me 10. That's so weird, it's halving it. Um, okay, well, we can definitely override that by just doubling amounts, obviously. 
Um, but I will have to look at that in between episodes. But for now, let's just say, um, just for the for the, the the case of showing you the true potential of not having to worry uh, about crafting ever again. Which again, baffling why this is doing what it, oh, we could have done it from upstairs. I'm I'm an idiot now. I think I'm just getting confused. Um, so now, if I went to if I took out all the Certus dust and I took out all the glass, um, eighty-seven of it. If I then said I want ten of you, uh, well, actually, wait, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to now say. Uh, so I want to say there's no quartz glass in here. I want to craft a pattern. So if I want 10 patterns, it's going to have to craft 12 glass, uh, 12 Certus glass, and then also 15 quartz dust. So I can say yes. And what it's going to do is it's going to come down here. It's going to process all of this. Uh, this needs to be set to auto eject. Uh, and it's complete. And it's completed 10 patterns for me. So now we have auto crafting of patterns sorted and we don't ever have to, of course it's such a basic thing, patterns, but it shows the concept of crafting without having to care anymore. Um, all I'll have to do is basically slowly add every pattern in, which is gonna need a lot more molecular assemblers, a lot more of everything, but what we can do is we can go like, oh, okay, well, we're gonna need a load of these, sure. So we'll say, you can craft that. What else do you need to learn? You'll probably need to learn this. That's cool. Uh, you will probably need to learn this. That's cool. Uh, you will need to know how to make a crafting bench. Sure. You will also need to know how to make wood. Um, uh, any oak logs? Yeah, cool. Um, and now, technically, nothing's stopping us from chucking all of these in here. Uh, and saying, craft me, uh, that's the crafting terminal, wait, uh, craft me 10 of these, and it'll say everything's available, and it's made me 10, and then I can use these, and I can be like, oh, well now, craft me another 10, and everything's still available, and it will craft another 10, no problem. The only thing that we will need to also teach it, obviously, inside these patterns, for example, is if we look at them, I'll just need to teach it logic processors. But for now, there are some in the system. Um, and then again, we can do the same with, actually, it's probably quite easy because this, uh, if we teach this pattern here, uses all the same stuff. So now I can come, I can chuck this in here and I can say, well, we've got 20 of these. If we make another five of you, because it's five per basically. We can say craft five of these, and then I can go and say pattern provider. Uh, provider. I can now say, well, we've got enough for five of these to go with 25 of these. And they've crafted instantly, done. Um, crafting. It's quite simple. You just need to um, you just need to have kind of everything slowly set up. It's it's kind of once I've built this big triangle thing, um, we'll be able to craft plenty of stuff. I just need to initially build this triangle, obviously. Um, but I am very happy with that. So we've moved bases, and now we have Emmy crafting kind of working. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.